You know, one of the things that makes a good golf swing look good is the fact that the club shaft swings around the body on the proper swing plane. And that's a really loose term. A lot of people don't really understand that. So I'm going to try to explain it in simple terms here and give you an idea maybe how to practice it on your own. But what I have here is I have a, a ball teed up and I have some clubs in line. That's that, that going to the target. So that's my target line. And what we want to do to keep the club on plane, the club shaft, is that when I start my backswing, I want the end of my club that's lowest to the ground to be pointed at that line or parallel at every spot in the swing. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this orange rod. You can buy these things at Home Depot or whatever, but it's a good little tool. You can do a lot of things with it. But if I stick it in the end of my club right here, so I'm going to make an extended shaft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up at my golf ball. And as I start my backswing, I want this to point right at the line. If I stop right here and we extended it out, it would point at the line. Right here, I'm parallel to the line. As I continue turning, you can see that's right on the line. That's right on the line, right on the line. And most people cannot get back to parallel. But if I did, it would be parallel again. And then coming down, this would point at the line, point at the line, come back to parallel. Now this end is lower the, to the ground, so that should be pointing at the line, right on around at the line, parallel, and so forth. So if I can keep that club, the end of the club, whichever end is lowest to the ground, if I can keep that pointing really close to this line, then my golf swing is going to be very simple and very easy to repeat. It's when I have, when I take the club inside, or maybe I go across, and now look where that thing's pointing. That's called across the line. Now I've got to make all these compensating moves to get the club back to hit a good golf shot. So working on swing plane is definitely something that would help anybody with their golf swing. So what you can do is a good way to practice this is take a bucket. Just imagine there's golf balls in here. Just kind of hold your hands on the side of the bucket like this. And what you want to do is you want to practice turning. You want to turn and then you want to dump the bucket out. You want to practice turning, dump the bucket out, and then bring the, the end of the bucket right back towards the golf ball. So it looks like this. Turn, dump it out, right back to the ball. Once you grab a club, we're going to turn. We're going to dump the bucket out. We're going to bring the butt end right back to the golf ball. So if I hit a ball doing this, turn, dump it out, come back. I'm going to practice that once. Then I'm going to make a swing and try to feel the same thing. So there is a feeling like there is some rotation up here, and that keeps the shaft pointing at the target line. So if you don't have one of those rods, if you just take a club and double it up, you can actually just take two clubs and double it up. And you can just practice taking it back and allowing this club shaft to slide down your leg. Then you can see where it's pointing. So if it looks like this right here, slides down my leg. If I go to the inside, it's off plane. Slides down my leg, point at the line, right up, right back down, and then as I come right into impact, this should be away from my side, extension, right up to the finish. So this is a good little tool. You don't want to really hit balls doing that, but it's a good tool to practice getting the feeling for the proper swing plane. So work on that and see if that doesn't help you straighten out your shots.